Hi, everyone. I hope you're all having a very lovely evening. We're all here to celebrate a very special occasion for our very own Dr. Karin Rushkovsky. So today I would like to introduce you all to the mayor of Vaughan, Maurizio Bevilacqua. Maurizio has worked in public life for 30 years. He was elected in 1998 as a member of parliament and he has been the mayor of Vaughan since 2010. We are very, very happy to have you here with us today, and we hope that you enjoy this very warm welcome in presenting Kareen the Order of Vaughn Award. Thank you. I, I want to, uh, first of all, express uh, to all of you uh, my sincerest gratitude for being present uh, here tonight. Uh, you know, in life, it's very important to pause uh, when we are celebrating uh, an individual who has achieved a great deal. And, uh, you know, I was, when, you, when you read the certificate of uh, the Order of Vaughan, uh, you will recognize uh, that this individual has uh, really in many ways uh, done her very best uh, to bring about positive change to people's lives. I'm often asked and I often ponder, doctor, <laughs> um, you know, at the end of the day, what is the true meaning of life? And... Uh, True meaning of life is to really improve the human condition. For those of you who've been seeking it, you just found it, don't have to thank me forever. Uh, but that's what it is. It's about how do we, as individuals, uh, make life better for each other? How can we be there for one another? How can we together face the challenges uh, of everyday life? How can we excel together? How can we do everything that life embodies in a in a very communal way, where everybody puts whatever they have uh, on the table and shares it. That is fundamental. That is why great societies, our great cities, our great communities are built. You know, when I became mayor, I, back in, in, in 2010, uh, you know, I've been now in public life, as correctly pointed out, for over 30 years now. And I've traveled the country extensively and everywhere I went, I was always looking for people that, you know, were willing to go the extra mile to, to, to give of themselves uh, in a way that spoke, spoke the higher purpose of life. And by that I mean individuals that live uh, what I refer to as the higher frequencies of life. Love, compassion, understanding, mutual respect, dignity, integrity. That's what I always look for because People that have those qualities, you can count on. You can count on them giving of themselves to a greater cause that is not self-centered or egocentric. It's a cause that speaks to uh, what is wonderful and beautiful about humanity, what makes us special. And so that's why I was looking forward uh, to tonight to make this presentation, because Kareen, you're that type of person. You are that individual. And uh, one of my proudest moments during uh, my mayoralty years as mayor was actually to call you and to tell you that you were going to receive the Order of Vaughan. Because we go back a few years. Uh, we go back a few years and I've followed in your travels and I've seen the impact you've had on people's lives and how those individuals have grown and how these individuals have made their own contribution. But let's face it, you know, having a mentor like Kareen is important. Uh, don't you agree? Good. Yes would have been better, but <laughs> if you want to nod your head, that's okay. Um, and so, you know, whether I look at brain power, the work with the York Region, I mean, you know, the, the certificate will tell you everything you need to know. But I think you already know. You already know that we're very fortunate uh, to, to share, to share a life with Kareen. Uh, to share our existence. You know, uh, sometimes I get these, these thoughts, uh, usually at 2.30 in the morning. You know, and I, I wonder often, you know, what makes human existence so special, you know? And, and what makes tonight so special? You know, when you stop and think about Kareen, think about how many billions of years, uh, you know, the Earth has been around, right? Think about how many countries exist in the entire world. Think about how many cities. 
Think about how many towns and hamlets and little pockets within cities exist. And then, tonight, we're all gathered here together. Look at all the things that we had to go through. All the things that had to happen for us to, to gather here. I mean, the odds are pretty slim when you think about it after I told you how many billions of people have inhabited the earth and how many countries exist and how many cities exist, how many communities exist. And then we're here in this room together. So this is both miraculous and magical. It is ma miraculous and magical because somewhere, somehow, we were meant to, to meet each other. And uh, at this place, at this, per at this time, Honoring an individual that is obviously worthy, a worthy recipient of uh, the Order of Vaughan. Now, I did start the Order of Vaughan. I'm not going to take credit for the idea of the Order, okay? I think the Order of Canada was before the Order of Vaughan, and probably the Order of Ontario. But I always think, you know, that people that are good people and get the Order of Vaughan, you know, one day, there are the others too. They're not as special as this one. But there are the other two orders that one must always <laughs> look, look forward to. This will be the one you will remember the most. In, 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 uh, in Ottawa, I think it's the Governor General. So, you know, the Mayor of Vaughan, Governor General, you know, we're there. You know, same thing. <laughs> you might get the Prime Minister involved as well. But, Karine, I all kidding aside, I, I just want to tell you that I'm so proud of you. And... Uh, Everyone here is very proud, proud of you. Now let me tell you something about energy. Can I talk to you a little bit about energy? Are you okay with this? So 30 years in public life, you develop some, something that's called the energy detector. You walk into a room and you can tell more or less what the people are like. I walk in this room, you know what I love this, about the, this event tonight? Is that people are not here because they have to be here. They're here because they want to be here. And that's a big difference. And uh, they're here because they really admire who you are as an individual, the contribution you've made to their personal lives, and, and how you continue to give of yourself in a manner that I think pursues excellence with a wonderful dose of humility, which, uh, which to me is, is fundamental in human existence. And so uh, we're going to get to this. I'm almost done, by the way, my speech, OK? Uh, I, I just wanted to say these words and I'll tell you why. Because uh, far too many time in our busy lives, we rush from one thing to the next. I'm sure you've all experienced the busyness of being busy, right? And we never really truly pause to soak in the moment, understand how, how precious it is. Uh, we've gone obviously through some challenging times in the past number of months. And to, to come here, and by the way, I think this is my first kind of public function, my very first during COVID. And I couldn't think uh, you know, of a better place to spend it here than to honor an individual's worthy recipient, but also to have so much support around you. Uh, this is, this is uh, quite impressive. And uh, people have, in this room, have incredible energy. You're all smiles, which is fantastic which is, oh, look, you did finally smile. That's good. Um, <laughs> the, uh, but I, I do want to take this opportunity to thank you all. Um, and if I may, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen now. Uh, we are going to, I'm going to present the Order of Vaughan. For those of you who are interested in the history of the Order of Vaughan, uh, I created the Order of Vaughan, but I also designed it. So in case, well, this is me, that's called self-promotion. Um, I designed it because I think that the act of creation is very important. You can't just be, you can't just be talking about an order of Vaughn and not putting your heart and soul and your spirit into it. And so what I did is I actually designed it and uh, so that people recognize that in that act of creation, we are giving of ourselves uh, to individuals who are, who are worthy recipients. And so, if you can come up, we were going to do this. We're all following this COVID protocols, okay, so that everybody's clear about this. So, there you go.
do. We're also, tonight we're also establishing a new record, the longest time it's taken me to pin somebody. <laughs> I appreciate the honor and uh, the ability to just let this soak in, as you suggested. This is such an important moment in my life, and I can't thank you enough for giving this beautiful honor to me. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you to everybody here tonight as well for supporting, for being with me in this really beautiful time in my life, for being amazing people uh, who are such an inspiration to me and, and allow me to do what I do. And I love, I love to see all of your amazing faces smiling here with me tonight. I am so touched and so grateful to be celebrating with all of you. This is beautiful. And I have to say, for those of you who know that I kind of like literature, uh, Mark Twain's quote comes to mind as I stand here. And I think, you know, he said, the two most important days of your life are the day that you got born that you were born, and then of course, the day you figured out why. And I'm gonna add a third day for me, and that's the day that I received the order of bond. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, Mr. Twain doesn't mind. But in true fashion, I really want to turn the spotlight somewhere else, and that is on my amazing, wonderful BrainPower students and the people of Vaughan and beyond who I've been so fortunate to work with over so many years. And really, these are future leaders. These are people who are moving and shaking and changing our world, changing our city, our, our country. I mean, it's, it's unbelievably impressive. And so I was so touched when three students who are now alumni, who are actually, you know, part of Vaughan as well, uh, suggested that they would say a few words tonight, and I am so excited for you all to meet them. For those of you who don't know who they are, I will tell you a little bit about each one. <laughs> so first up, we're going to have Ron Goliath. And Ron is someone I've known for oh, many, many years. Took a lot of classes with me at BrainPower. We've, yes, he's just been an amazing, amazing human being in my life. He's now uh, very passionate about healthcare. And he is changing our healthcare system right here, right now, uh, in Ontario. And uh, I can't wait for him to tell you a little bit about it. So Ron's going to come up in a moment. Then you're going to hear from Michal, who you met at the beginning. Thank you, Michal, for introducing the mayor in this wonderful event. She's also very, very passionate about healthcare and in, in another uh, realm. And she's going to share a little bit about what she's doing. I think all of you are going to get goosebumps when you hear what these amazing, amazing young people are doing. And then we're going to also hear from Dinesh, who's here tonight, and who came all the way just for me. Uh, so exciting to have you up here uh, as well. So thank you, and let's turn it over to Ron. It's such an honor to be highlighted by someone so inspiring as Kareem. So for those of you that don't know me, which is most of you, uh, I'm Ron. Uh, I'm currently a fourth year McMaster Health Sciences student. Uh, I'm specializing in something quite interesting, at least I think it's quite interesting, uh, biomedical discovery and commercialization, which really merges biomedicine and business. But my passion is really healthcare innovation. Uh, I'm very excited to say that I'm the founder and CEO of a company called Merge Connect. We're actually aiming to change the way that patients think about same day care through a platform that lets patients register, triage, and in the future even wait at home before going to the care provider of their, of their choice and while actually directing them to the care that best suits their needs. So earlier in 2020, we actually won, we're one of the winners of the Activate Vaughn Healthcare pitch competition. Uh, since, then, uh, since then, recently I won the Hamilton Lions Lair uh, pitch competition. Uh, we've attracted more than half a million dollars in venture capital, gotten clinical trial, trials approved, um, and are doing so much more. 
But my passion beyond this company is really to, to change the way that healthcare innovation is perceived and to, to create a pathway for future innovators to um, bring innovation into healthcare and make lives better for patients, for physicians, and for, for the country overall. But where it really inspired me as, as a youngster, uh, which many people still say I am, is um, brain power. I, I was always bored in school. They never really were teaching what I was interested in. Um, and at brain power, I was allowed to, to read what I wanted. I, I learned cool math. Um, and in fact, I vividly remember once in elementary school, there was this one math problem that Ruben gave me that I couldn't do. And I brought it up to my math teacher. Uh, and she was so, so impressed by what I was learning that she actually called my parents and was like, where's this kid learning this, this, this sort of math? Um, so brain power really has played, played a big role in my life. Um, and then finally Vaughn, where I'm very happy to say my company is located, has, is becoming such a hub for innovation. Um, from pitch competitions that they run consistently to all the capital that it's attracting, um, Vaughn is really the place to be for, for startups like myself. Um, and I can think of very few as deserving recipients as my favorite childhood teacher and lifelong mentor, uh, who without a doubt changed my life, Kareem. Ron, you're amazing. Thank you so much. And thank you for changing our healthcare system, making it better for all of us, and just being an amazing human being, right? Just a, a good, good, wonderful person. Thank you. All right, let's hear from Michal. Hi, everyone. Um, it's me again. <laughs> my name is Michal, and I'm currently in my third year at McMaster. I'm studying health sciences. Uh, before I go on to gush about what an amazing human being Kareen is and how great brain power is and how it completely changed my life, a bit of an introduction about me. Um, I'm into healthcare. I like medicine. I am hoping to be a practicing doctor one day. Um, in the meantime, I occupy myself with research. I'm very passionate about the gut microbiome and figuring out what we can do to change that and what we can do to prevent different diseases from happening. So I'm currently doing some research out of McMaster Children's Hospital. I'm doing some celiac research also involving the microbiome out of Harvard. I'm kind of just trying to explore and see what kind of an impact I could make on the healthcare community. Now in terms of brain power and Kareen, I moved here, I immigrated with my family at a very young age. Um, I was in grade one. And Brain Power opened the doors for me. Everyone welcomed me, Fanya, Ruben, Kareem, the entire Brain Power team. They were so welcoming and they always told me that I could be who I wanted to be, whatever that was. At that point in time, I thought it was a doctor and I still do want to practice medicine. But taking Kareen as an example, Kareen is so many roles. She's a mentor to me and to a lot of you. She's an entrepreneur. She is the director of Brain Power. She's a communicator, a public speaker, a persuader. She is impacting the world. She's making a positive impact on so many people. And at the end of the day, that's what I want to do. I want to make sure that I can impact as many people as I can, whether that is only through practicing, whether that is through research. But I want to do something that changes the world. And brain power has taught me how to be confident in myself in doing so. Without brain power, I wouldn't be where I am today, hands down. Kareen has been with me throughout all of middle school, all of high school, now all of university. And now I am owing it to her to show what I am able to do and to hopefully impact the way other people, the way she impacted me. So I'm very, very excited to continue to be a part of Brain Power. Again, it changed my life. I met so many friends there. Some of my best friends are in this room and I met them in a Brain Power classroom. And I'm so, so thankful for all of the experiences I've had. And now that Brain Power is coming to McMaster, it looks like we won't be doing the long distance between Vaughn and Hamilton anymore. So that's very great and I'm super excited for that. But there's no one more that deserves this award because Kareen, you are truly a mentor to all of us and an inspiration. So, very proud of I uh, look at the people in this room and I look at Michal and I listen to her passionate speaking. I feel okay about our future, everybody. <laughs> I think we're in good hands with the, with the people who are here. And Michal, thank you for that really touching and, and really heartfelt message. i sending you hugs. Guys, we're going to be okay. Michal, all the brain power students, we're going to be fine. This is amazing. 
All right, last but not least, we've got Dinesh, who also is an incredible mover and shaker and an amazing person and someone I've also known for many, many years and offer to say a few words. Dinesh, by all means. My name is Dinesh, and as you might have started to begin noticing a pattern by now, I'm a fourth year health science student at McMaster, who is also interested in medicine. Um, I first off to start off by thanking Kareen. It is such an honor to be here, and the, the trip from Hamilton and the one week of listening to my parents nagging is more than worth it to be here with you today. Um, so I just want to start off by telling you guys a little bit about myself. Um, I've Although my home is healthcare, I've had my hands in a number of different projects. Um, I've spoken before the previous Governor General, the Right Honorable David Johnson, about climate change. I've participated in a Microsoft-sponsored uh, hackathon competition where I made it to the national finals. I've um, written a business plan and commercialization strategy for a research group I've mastered. Um, and this is all to say I have such a wide range of interests and more recently, I've been doing some, uh, my interests have shifted to doing research in artificial intelligence to stream drug discovery, um, drug discovery pipelines. So what I ultimately want to do is bring together all these interdisciplinary and um, what may seem initially fragmented fields of study and bring them together to bring new forms of innovation to help the healthcare space and ultimately I want to do that as a physician so I can listen to my patients, figure out what problems they have, and then use my skills and knowledge to bring to fruition all this, um, to bring to fruition new innovation and solutions that can help them. Now this interest in interdisciplinary and interdisciplinary fields and like the lifelong learning that I've come to adopt, this paradigm, I think I owe it in significant part to my time at BrainPower. When I first came to BrainPower, I was welcomed with by a team of uh, passionate and pe passionate people who love teaching. Um, Kareen was there, Ruben was there, um, Fani was there, and I remember in grade seven when I first came to Brain Power, I had been to many previous kind of enrichment programs before. I've been to, you know, the usual Spirit of Math, Kumon, whatever. I'm sure all of you know it, um, the spiel. But I knew when I came to Brain Power, it was different. I had the opportunity to be exposed to so many unique ideas from a young age, from Hemingway to Freud to, of course, Ruben Rishkovsky, the <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and that uh, op opened my eyes to how, how much there was to learn and how much um, there is to explore in the world. In, in participating in brain power for so long, I've been able to make so many amazing connections. Many of who you, many of you who I've been in touch with for many years now, and some of you I haven't been in touch with, but it was fantastic seeing you here again tonight. And hopefully, we can rekindle some of our friendships uh, through this amazing event. I'd just like to close off by again thanking Kareen for amazing support, mentorship, on on her. Her love is so unconditional, I can call her up at 2 in the morning and she will respond. And she's just an amazing human, human being who absolutely deserves this award. Thank you, Kate. So on that note, a couple little comments. Maybe you notice another commonality among those three. They all are in Hamilton now. <laughs> and that's because... We are also in Hamilton now. BrainPower has a new location. We are opening our doors in January. We've got amazing programs that are starting there. Very, very excited about bringing these passionate, passionate educators to a new city and some great future leaders there as well. So a, a momentous occasion in that as well. And thank you to the, thank you. those students uh, who are in Hamilton now who are opening their arms to us and welcoming us and already you know hitting the pavement with us just spreading the word which is exciting and to everybody in the room thank you again there are gifts here for you if you'd like some brain power goodies uh, the pink ones are in the gold bags and the white ones are in the silver bags and to the students who just spoke if you don't mind coming up I've got special gifts for you and enjoy tonight everybody thank you for being here with me I really appreciate it. Thank you.